Hello class two. Today I'm going to read you the second part of our story about the bear. I hope you enjoy it. Here it comes. This is where we were at the end of the first part of the story with Tilly snuggled up on the polar bear's knee on his lap saying I want you to stay with me forever and ever. And she's really happy and warm and cosy there. But in the next part of the story, things take a bit of a different turn when Tilly begins to realise that looking after a polar bear in your home might not be as easy as she thought. Look, I've got you some milk. Now, come and sit at the table properly. Sit up straight, don't slouch. Oh dear. I'm not sure that that table's big enough for a polar bear. He doesn't really fit, does he? Is it true bears like honey? Try some. It's daddy's very own. My, you are quick. It's all gone. You are a greedy pig bear. I don't think he is really, do you? When you see the size of the jar of honey compared to the bear, it's not really that much. Bear! Bear! Where are you? How can you disappear when you're so big? Oh no! What has happened here? Oh dear. There's Tilly, she's having to go and get a bucket and some rubber gloves. Look how cross she looks now. And a very big shovel. What are you up to, Tilly? The bear's done a poo. I'm burying it. Oh, I see. Good girl. Oh, there you are at last. You're a very naughty bear making messes. And eating two loaves of bread. Bad boy. Don't! He's given her a big lick on his face to make up for it. On her face, rather. Now I've got to go and wash again. Don't disappear. Wait here. I think she's very cross with him. Oh no, that is a very big puddle of wheat. Oh you beast, you've weed on the floor. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And there she is with her mop and bucket. You are awful, I hate you. Don't you dare do it again. I'm going upstairs to have a long think about what to do with you, Bear, so wait here. Oh dear, I think that Tilly has said she hates the Bear, but I don't think that she really does. We need to be careful what we say when we're angry and upset, don't we? Because sometimes we say things that we don't mean, but those things can be really hurtful. Think before you speak. Look, Bear, I've decided that you and I have got to have a serious talk. Come and sit down properly. Now, listen, you know Mummy said you could have the spare bedroom. Well, she's never once seen you and she may change her mind when she finds out how big you are. And if you're going to do poos and wheeze all over the house, she'll never let you stay. Mummy and Daddy mustn't see you or they might put you out. Do you understand? Will you pay attention when I'm talking to you? He's looking the other way, isn't he? As if to say, I'm not listening. Oh, you're hopeless. You're always yawning and falling asleep. Wake up! Wake up! He's jumping up and down on his tummy. Oh dear, it's not going well, is it? Come with me, Bear. I'm going to put you in the spare bedroom. No! Left here, stupid! 
Now then, that's not a nice thing to say, is it? Up the stairs you go, giddy up. Now, you can hide in here, but remember, you're going to sleep with me. No, not in here. It's mummy and daddy's bedroom. Bear, bear, you can't hide there. I don't think he's listening. Oh, you silly bear. You'll get such a ticking off. I'm going to stop there for today. That's going to be the second part of the story. Now it's your turn to be the storyteller and the narrator again. Last time you wrote me the first part of the story, all about the bear arriving at Tilly's house. And we ended with Tilly sitting on the bear's knee saying she hoped that the bear would stay forever and ever. In today's part of the story, things were a bit different, weren't they? I've started my second part of the story by calling it Bear Problems. You can think of a different title for your second part if you'd like to. You can use my story beginning to help you, or of course, you're perfectly welcome to use your own ideas. Here's what I wrote. Tilly wasn't lonely anymore, now that she had the bear to keep her company. She wanted him to stay forever. However, it wasn't long before Tilly began to realise that living with a bear wasn't going to be easy. Off you go to write the second part of the story. Good luck. I can't wait to read these. I'm so excited. Bye.